On Wednesday, U.S. President Joe Biden showed an old photo to Chinese President Xi Jinping after their summit meeting in San Francisco, California. It features the Golden Gate Bridge, as you're seeing behind me, with a young man in front of it. Biden asked, "Do you recognize this young man?" She responded, "Yes, that was me 38 years ago." That's the exact same photo I showed to Kristen Shi when she interviewed me Wednesday afternoon while the summit was still ongoing. She is the APEC on-site host of Getting Answers, a flagship program on the highest-rated local channel called KGO ABC7. What did I say about that photo, and what did I say about other aspects of this relationship in the eight-minute segment? Here's our conversation. I'm very curious what the impression is in China,、uh, in reports and in the media, and what people think in terms of when they think of San Francisco,、mm. when they think of California.、Mm. Um, what comes to mind? Well, I want to bring you this picture. I prepared this picture because it's a very special one, and I don't think many people have seen that. Oh, is that Xi Jinping in San Francisco a long time ago as a young man? Yeah, this was 38,、uh, 38 years ago when he first visited. Um, the United States. He was still a junior official in northern China in a small town,、mm-hmm. and you can see he was very young、mm-hmm. <laughs> back then.、Mm-hmm. And, and he mentioned this visit to、um, Governor Newsom when he was meeting, when they were meeting in Beijing、yeah. during Governor Newsom's meeting, and he said this is、um, his very first stopover in the United States was San Francisco.、Mm-hmm. So I thought that's a very personal touch. You know, when you, when you go to a place. The first impression is always very, very important, and from that picture and the fact that he was recalling this visit, this visit 38 years later、mm-hmm. to the Californian governor, I think that's a very important message to the American people and to the Chinese people that personally he has good、um, will. Towards San Francisco, towards America, towards the American people. That's why. That's why I, I think it is it is important that I bring this image and show it to the people of San Francisco that the Chinese president <laughs> remembers the city and has a good memory. Everybody has a good memory at the Golden Gate Bridge. That part is certainly true. I will go there too. You should. You should.、Um, but I do want to ask you: Does it feel like there is a new? Uh, feeling new page, a new chapter, because as you know, I don't think it's a secret on both sides、yeah. of the Pacific.、Yeah. Uh, tensions have been ratcheting up over the last few years for a variety of reasons.、Um, a lot of it is geopolitical, but also the pandemic, and、um, and I wonder if you feel like the headlines coming out of China now sound a little different towards this APEC summit. You mean the headlines about America? Yes. Yes, I think, and he, the relationship, and and whether it's friend or foe. Yeah, well, I think it is very obvious there has been a, a, a series of efforts by both sides to. Pave to lead to this point where the two presidents can meet after almost exactly one year when they met in Bali, Indonesia, because in China,、um, as President Xi has said、um, many times, that there is a thousand reason to build this relationship, to make this relationship work,、mm-hmm. and there is no reason for this relationship not to work because we are the two largest economies, and how many jobs、well. for both sides. That this can create. Why don't we? You know. Well, you mentioned the reasons why it should work, which Biden、uh, iterated today, right? Saying、uh, we can compete, but we don't have to be enemies.、Uh, and President Xi said, you know, the world is big enough for the two of us. But in terms of there being reasons to for it to not work, there those exist as, as well,、uh, Absolutely. right? Absolutely.、Um, and you know, Taiwan is just one of them, but there are other issues、yeah. as well.、Yeah. So my question to you is, how are? I guess is it the feeling that? There are places where we can work together, and we will. And other things, we just let them be. Or do those things still seem insurmountable、um, and get in the way of any potential cooperation on economics or sustainability or environmental issues? Yeah. Well, it's just like two people dealing with each other. If if we try to get along, and if we believe that our relationship is very important, not just for the two of us, but for people around us, what do we do?、Mm-hmm. Are we going to keep, ta- you know, getting tangled, getting wrapped up、mm-hmm. by the issues that? We can't change、mm-hmm. for the moment. Different values, probably different systems, different personality. But if there are things we can work on, why don't we work on that? But I think the problem, the difference that I saw from this morning's、uh, meeting between the opening remarks between the two presidents is very important, and I want to repeat that because 
the, the exact wording makes a lot of difference, and I wrote it down. President Biden said we have to ensure that competition does not veer into com conflict, and we also have to manage the competition responsibly. But President Xi said, I am still of the view that major country competition is not the prevailing trend of current times and cannot solve the problems facing China and the United States or the world at large. So it's not about how we solve the difference or whether we shelve the differences, but we find a way to understand the nature of our relationship. Is it, a, is it one that's defined by competition or is it one defined by, develop, by cooperation? We can work together. Coming up next, I explore the largest electric bus manufacturing plant in Northern America, located in Lancaster, Southern California. The facility is owned by the Chinese manufacturer Build Your Dreams, or BYD. It's celebrating its 10th anniversary. Stay with me.